Hey. See you, Andy! Show me thy face! I can't hear you. Ah. Uh, We're having all sorts of audio problems. Should I be louder? Do you need me to be louder? Mr. Devin! Why would that be? Let's see. Sound check? Yep, that might work. I'm Asian! Mr. Devin? <laughs> Devin, you have a small dick. <laughs> I'm kidding, that was a joke. But you can't hear me! <laughs> <laughs> Devin, you are not. Uh, mm, you are not a good CEO. You are just an employee, not even an employer. <laughs> oh no! Sorry, sorry. Was that too far? Was that too far? I'm sorry. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Uh, I take it back. Devin. You're not, you're not an employee. You're just a Twitch streamer. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I take, I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. I'm sorry. I take it back. That's a joke. That was a joke. Uh, uh, All right. Huh? Can you hear me I now? Fixed it. You did. Yep. You didn't it was hear. My fault. That's okay. I was all along. <laughs> yes, you were. Bok, bok. You didn't hear anything I said in the last five minutes, right? I didn't hear anything you said. <laughs> okay, cool. Where's your face? You know, there's just so many problems. This is my face. That's not my face. Oh, you're you're a little bit more grayer than I remember. I am. I, I'm feeling a little bit gray. Am I gonna feel better after this? Oh, uh, you did you get older, Mr. Dev? Nef Devin Nash? It's impossible for me to get any older. If I got any older, I would die immediately. I uh. would disintegrate. Mr. Dust. Devin Nash, you know you're not even that old. I'm very old. How old are you? Wow! We're in space! We're in space. Oh my God. Mr. Devin Nash, you're such a boomer. You're not the only person with technology, okay? Okay. I too can be in different worlds. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mr. Devin Nash, I feel like... I feel like you're the, you're the representation of boomers of Twitch. How do you feel that's about great, that? That's a really great way to start out with a positive light on an interview or whatever this is. This is a banter. We're gonna become friends. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna become friends. Yes, we're gonna become to... friends. Oh, okay, great. I'm looking... So you start off? Do you start off with all of your friends by telling them that they're the oldest person on Twitch? Space. It might be true. I think. Mr. Devin Nash, I know how old you are. You can't pull the old card on me. I can. What if I lied to you? You didn't. How do you know? Because you have an innocent teddy bear face that will never lie to any soul. That makes me the most evil. Because yeah. nobody suspects me. Aww. Uh -huh. But Mr. Devin! Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute when you try to be intimidating. Is it? Yes. Okay. You think it's um? You think it's working? <laughs> no. <laughs> On like a scale of like one to ten, like how 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 scary am I? Am I like um... a? Um. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh. Uh. Fuck. Hold on. Can you give me a moment? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry uh, about it. Anyway, course. Mr. Devin, on a scale of 1 to 10, how intimidating are you? Is that what your question? Yeah, starting there. I would say... Wait, wait, you're too low. Hold on, sorry. Let me turn you up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How, how long has... Have you guys... Have you guys not heard anything he said so far? Oh, there's a little poll. Yeah. That's good. I haven't said anything important. Yeah, I was just I was just telling him how much of a uh, how old I am. Wow. No, yeah. I said I said yeah. you're actually. Wait, is this is this still too low? Okay, hold on. Let me find. Okay, let me make him louder. Mr. Devin, can you talk? Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Devin. Okay, Mr. Devin, that sounds good. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, Mr. Devin, how intimidating are you? Um, on a scale of 1 to 10 teddy bear, I would say you are a 9 Valentine's Day teddy bear. Uh, oh, really? That's, yeah. Uh, so we're going up. So I thought nine would be very intimidating, but you're saying nine is the least, the second to the least intimidating. Yeah, like you're like a squishy bear I want to squeeze cheeks with. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Um, yeah. Okay, so so Miko likes older men. Is that what's going on? Miko likes any man because Miko's desperate. Why are you desperate? You don't because... have enough love. Wow. Oh no, oh, I'm sorry. No. Tell this, me all about it. Oh, this went very deep. Well, um That's how we that's how we do here. Well I I uh um well I'm I don't have any friends. Why not? You invite like three friends a day out here. I know <laughs> I does, does every single one of them just leave and not be your friend? Is that what happens? Yeah, they they leave my DMs on blank and uh a lot of them, like, mm -hmm. like there's this guy, okay, and and okay. his and he has like this big, uh, his icon on Twitch is this big white circle, okay, with a with a paint circle like streak to it, okay, kind of, it's like a what, and then he's like this guy who's kind of like a boomer on Twitch too, and he, uh. Uh, yeah, yeah, and his his name starts with the D, and then his last name starts with an N, and who would actually name their Twitch channel after their actual name? It's insane. Some and asshole some, for sure. Some boomer for sure. Devin yeah. and Normie. And then, oh, fuck. Damn it, I what? did not. You appear to be surrounded by men. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's, it's... At least your at least your friend's problem is cured. Yeah, well, they're all mm. dead chat members, so it's okay. So anyway, um... And then, but, but he, he, this, so this friend, he never answers my DMs. Why? Why not? Why not? I don't know. Why? Why do you <laughs> think that is? Um, tell me more about this friend. Okay, well, this friend has an Asian fetish. And then... What? Uh, <laughs> Wait, where did you get that from for this and, friend? And then... <laughs> And then, We're, um, and you're then... Using, uh, you're using meta-knowledge. You don't have that knowledge and character. <laughs> That's <laughs> bullshit. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what, what you're fuck? talking... I don't know what you're talking about. How would you know about my friend anyway? Uh, oh, I'm, I know about everyone on Twitch. That's my job. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. So what yeah. do you think I should do? You, so your, your objective is to talk to this dude that has an Asian fetish? Apparently. No, no, no! How do I get him to stop ignoring my DMs? Um, okay, it was one time. I couldn't do it because I was in a meeting. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I'm not talking about you, Wait. Mr. Devin. Oh, okay, okay, this person, this theoretical person. Do you have an Asian person. fetish? No. Okay, I, 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 I am, I'm, I'm all, uh, uh -huh. all girls are great. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see, mm. okay. Well, um, okay. How did you know that it was you then? Why'd you answer like it was you? I didn't, I don't know what you're talking about. I can neither confirm nor deny any of these allegations, okay? My PR team will be with you momentarily and we will have a third party investigation and uh, take a look at these uh, apparent accusations that have been coming from unknown sources and then we'll get back to you after we're finished with that investigation. Wow, it's you're so thorough, Mr. CEO. Absolutely, yes. We take we take all inquiries towards our business very seriously. Mr. And, CEO. Uh, we, we are prepared. Yes. What yeah. does it feel like to be rich? Are, are, do you want to tell me? No. <laughs> How do you feel? You, you <laughs> tell me. I'm not rich. How does it feel to be rich? I mean, um. Pretty much the same as it does to. F okay, so it's n there's a difference between like how serious do you want to get? Serious. Oh baby, okay, we could totally do that. I think there's a difference between achievement and fulfillment. Oh, here we go. I think, oh. I, I think that once. <laughs> Wait, what, keep going, keep going. Three seconds in. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Go ahead, right. Mr. Nevin Nash. <laughs> All right, I think if you are making stuff happen 
and achieving things and providing value in the world that feels very good. Like you make a lot of people happy, wouldn't you say? Uh huh. Yeah, you do. And that's like that's like a huge amount of positivity. You get rewarded for that. And in the same way, um, I'd like to thank the businesses that we create create a lot of value too. So um, that makes me feel good. But in terms of fulfillment, um, nothing beats personal relationships. Mm, going and doing things that are meaningful to you, love, all that jazz. That's all personal good stuff. Personal relationships. Yeah. Love, all that jazz. Mm hmm Have you thought about getting a girl pregnant? Um, I've thought about not doing it. Because the then, opposite way. Then you <laughs> I can often get... think about not doing it. Well, see, see, if you get a girl pregnant, <laughs> then you can have children, then you can have relationships, then you become fulfilled in your duty as a human male. How would pregnancy work with you? Would it be like um, a baby would be born into this virtual world? How? What would happen there? I would my vagina okay so it's similar to the process that non-virtual women do you go know through. do you know the process uh no you should describe it to me i'm, so, I'm very okay uh, so so you see the problem was that Shit. i was born before birth so i, I don't oh see you is she dead what do we do now i can't do the show on my own okay we're fucked all right <laughs> when does she come back 20 seconds I see code. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're all good. Oh, We're all back. good. We're all good. We are mm. all good. We're not having any technical difficulties today. Good. None whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Did you know that we actually are completely, uh, technically, completely technically A-OK -okay today? You never have any problems? <laughs> no, no, not today. So you were saying, oh yeah, we were talking about getting you pregnant. So, right. We're talking about getting you pregnant. When a man and a woman uh -huh. okay, love each other. Do they have to love each other? Actually, it could be a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, or a man uh -huh. and a non... Uh, a man and a horse. Um, so, when they love each other... I'm gonna fact check that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you... Is that cocaine? Mr. Devin, um, you know cocaine is not allowed on Twitch, right? Well, they can't ban me because I'm... Really special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know. <sighs> you, you... I'm sorry. That's sort of a that's sort of a sensitive subject right now. Let's keep going. Pregnancy. <laughs> okay, pregnancy. So go I sniff forgot. your cocaine. Go go sniff your cocaine. Are you done? I'm never done. Okay. <laughs> so when a man and a woman. Yeah. And a man and a man. Or mm -hmm. a woman and a man, or a man and a woman, or a woman and a woman, or every combination possible, love each other. Um, so a man possesses this special instrument called the penis. Oh, it's a special instrument. Yes, it's called the penile erectum. Mm -hmm. And That's when a scientific name. Oh, fucking hell. She died again. I don't understand. All right. Chat, stop killing Miko, okay? I am not entertaining enough to run the show on my own, all right? That's the real problem here. And I want to understand this new concept called pregnancy. When I was born, okay, we didn't have birth yet. So I don't know what she's talking about. So, Welcome. Mr. Devin yeah. Nash, when a man and a woman... Okay, so what oh man... Oh my god! Yes, okay, man and a woman, yes, woman and a woman, yes, okay, I got a it. A man well. possesses the penile erectum. Yep. Okay, and the woman possesses the vagina inversum. That sounds like a Harry Potter spell. <laughs> okay. When the penile erectum and the vagina inversum <laughs> meet each other... They communicate in a ritualistic way. Like a uh, tribal? Yes. Yeah. They, they communicate in a shlib, shlub, shlub, shlib language of love. Got it, boss. Okay. And mm -hmm. at the end of shlib, shlub, what are you doing with your left hand, dude? What is that? 
Um, oh, I'm just, you know, I just get excited. Actually, what I'm doing right now is I'm shaking my tea so that it, uh, it like gets the water out so I don't have to. <laughs> okay. Let's just keep this to us friendly, Mr. <laughs> Kevin, okay? I, I just gotta say, like, this, uh, this description of yours is doing it for me. I, I don't know what to say. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Pay attention now. This is educational. Okay. I'll try to stay focused. I'm sorry. All right. So, um,. They communicate in the slip slub ways. And at the yep. end, the penile rectum, most likely not the vagina inversum. The penile Harry rectum, Potter, yeah. not the vagina inversum. That's very rare. But the penile rectum does what such thing called the goom. Mm -hmm. and, I've heard about that. Yes. And the coom brings forth the life. Okay. And thus, a baby is made inside. Thank you. You're welcome. That, that is amazing. And so, you poop so the it process. Out. Oh, I see. That's very dramatic. Yep, you poop it out, and the voila, baby making. So what would so? Have you considered ha having a virtual baby? Are you virtual? Am I in your world, or are you in my world? Are we in each other's world? Are you in a world within another world? How do you know which world you're in? You're currently in space. I am currently in space. Yes, you Sorry, are. Sorry, are you a solipsist? What's a solipsist? <laughs> it's a person that only believes in their own reality and nothing else outside of it. Mr. Devin Nash, do you use these words in conversations? Unfortunately, yes. That's why I'm undateable. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. Mm -hmm. Teach me more SAT words. Oh, that's a good one. Um, but it, but you didn't answer. Do you, do you think? Do you think that is is this only your perception of external? Like, there's no external reality. I'm what curious about reality? you. I'm curious about you. Like, where do you live? Where do you think you live? I live in the universe. What universe? The universe. Have you ever talked to like a Google AI? What universe do you live in? Shit, dude. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm I'm busy dying. Okay, I understand. Uh, the known one. We're the only one. Oh, what if they never revive her? Oh, they're just like. We, we just need to her. revive because there's a bug. My mom. Has that bug been job. there for a long time? No, this is new. Mm hmm. Yes, no. Oh, you can you force the vote? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can? What's yeah. the point then? Well, right now we have I to. I demand a recount. Well, right now we have to because there's a severe bug that causes Storm me to. Storm Miko's apartment. That causes me to crash <laughs> real sad. hard. Shit. Oh, well, how do you crash? Uh, Currently right now I have just crashed. But you're still here talking. Oh, like your character? Yep, I have crashed. Mm-hmm. So, Mr. CEO Andy. <laughs> yeah. On, on, how, how good is this interview so far? Am I, am, I, um, am I matching up or is this... 10 out of 10. I want to know how to be you. Teach me how to be they you. They never tell you when it's bad. Teach me how to be you? Yes. Um, try a bunch of stuff to be awesome early in life. Uh, don't really hit any of the markers. End up old. Oh, then, come um, on! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Can you tell okay, us... What, what, what tell part, us what, how what old part? you are. Tell us how old you are. Oops. 54. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, I know. Can I guess it? No! <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> wow. tech, technician knows. <laughs> Wait, so you admit that what you told her was your real age. I would have, uh, why, I don't know. Uh, I mean, uh, I uh, uh, and, uh, Mr. Devin yes. Nash. What? As far as I remember, I don't remember what I told her. You are very, very young. Really? You're actually younger than technician herself. That's possible. How old is technician? 45. 45? Yeah. Is that, that's why technician has so many impressive skills. Exactly. That's why she's able to create this whole thing because she's been in the industry for a long time. Technician is very impressive. 
Thank you. I talked to technician. Did you know that? Yeah, she showed her her crotchless panties. Uh, allegedly. And you turn really red. Can you find any record of this? Yes, it's everywhere on YouTube. God damn it. You <laughs> turned <it> really? <laughs> so red. You're like, you turned cherry red. It was really entertaining. I, yeah, she's a very interesting girl for sure. No one's ever done that before in like a deep dive interview where my objective is to grow a brand. <laughs> <laughs> they, you, you know, you know, you know, did you know that crossless panties actually help naturalize the conversation? It breaks ice. Yeah. Yeah. Naturalize a conversation. Yeah. Did you feel very, did you feel very comfortable? Do you, d does, does technician do that in all of her interviews? Well, technician doesn't do interviews, do you? No. Yeah. Only so Miko like... does interviews. Mika does interviews. Are you crouching really low to hide your boner? No. Then why you are you? Stand up? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you? Why don't you sit up? Well, I would, but if I stand up, I mean, people will. Like to see. Wait, 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 Mr. Devin, you're an amazing dancer. If you're gonna try to get me to dance on here, there is no way you can do it. Why? <laughs> because I, I um. It, there's a perpetual effect that if I do that on Twitch, that I start getting the wrong audience. <laughs> so I don't do it. <laughs> yeah. You mean the godly hyper enthusiasts? Yes, that's them. Yes, exactly. But, They're lurking. They're waiting. But, but, mm. but, oh, come on. Just a little no. bit for the godly. No shot. There's just no, we can, we can gotcha. just move on. There's just no way <laughs> this Aww. is going to happen. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. No, I'm no fun allowed. I know. Okay, Trust me. okay, like, okay. Then the. The, uh, the, ah! the, the, uh, the, uh -oh, sorry, I died. sorry, 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 sorry. What happened? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Um, pop-ups. Okay, so we were saying about you dancing. Right. So, how do you learn how to dance so well? Um, I like to, okay, so, it's a sad story. Um, I used to date a girl, and then her friend was over, and I tried to dance, and they laughed at me so hard that um, like they said, never ever dance again. Like that looked like terrible. And so I got so angry that I decided to like teach myself. And then um, I, that led all the way into competitive dancing. I fell in love with it. I did it for years. Um, I competed at clubs. I competed at tournaments and everything. And like had like, it was really fucking cool. And then I- What did I'm, they say about that now? I don't know, but I'm, I'm styling now. I don't know. I don't even, I'm sure they know in some way. I don't talk to them anymore, but like- Good. That, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to those assholes. If someone if someone tells you you can't do something, that means that you, that's another opportunity to show that you can. You know when Technician was in, in her corporate life, so someone told her that it'll take her years and years and years and years to learn how to code so she shouldn't even try? Really? Yep. And how long did it actually take her? Six months. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! That, that gets me super excited. That's, that's what it's about. Yeah, like... Way too many people are just like focused on the opinions of what other people tell them. That, and those people don't even give a shit about them. They don't even no, care. They're true. just saying some offhanded thing. Yeah. It's mostly 100%. due to their own insecurity. They're projecting. Yeah, they're projecting because they don't want you to reach heights that they didn't get to. And they don't want to have to face themselves when that happens. Preach it! Man, preach it! C-O-N-D! Mm -hmm. The truth is everybody is capable of success. So what do you think of Valentine's Day? Uh, what are you doing? Streaming. <laughs> okay. Farming. What day is that? Uh, the uh, 14th <laughs> of February. I, I learned that word from Kiara Kitty. What? Oh, I know Kiara Kitty. What's farming? She says that I must farm my chat to become a successful e-girl on Twitch. Do you wish to become a successful e-girl? I want to be successful at everything. I am an overachiever. That's good. There are some things you don't want to be successful at. Maybe being uh, like, like you don't want to be the most successful failure, for example. Why not? <laughs> Actually, maybe that'd be cool. You're right. Okay, good Aren't point. Aren't you a most Chal successful failure? Yeah, in a sense. Mm -hmm. Say me too. <laughs> my my we parents. Be, we can be that together. My parents think I was I'm a failure, but. I'm the I most successful failure now. Isn't your parent technician? Oh. 
Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> True. So, you, for, so Val for Valentine's Day, you are um, farming chat. For Valentine's Day, I am showing chat that they don't have to be alone on Valentine's Day because their virtual character girlfriend will be there for them. I love that actually. I think that that's really important. Um, you, you know, just one of the. Laugh. No. You just laughed at chat. I was moved. I was moved emotionally mm. by what you said. And you know, statistically, the holidays are usually the best times to stream on Twitch for that reason. Um, the best time to stream on Twitch ever is Christmas Day, and the second one is New Year's. Really? What about birthday? Well, if you just make up a birthday, like every three months, and then people probably won't remember that you had a last birthday then, and then you just continuously farm donations every day for that. Wait, that what? Well. Yeah. Cause, well, because people's, people's memory of things, right, is very short. So most likely, if you have a birthday every month, the vast majority of your audience won't carry over and remember it. But no way. Birthday. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, no, like, like your close audience will, but like 90% like plus won't. What? Every like two, three months, yeah. Mm. But wouldn't they get suspicious? Some would, but I mean, <laughs> it's up to you if you want. We're talking about farming, right? Right. That makes sense. Mr. Devin Nash? Hi. How do I improve my YouTube? Oh, I've, well, I put a, the team I put on it is like really slow for some reason. So I'm going to, do you want me to take a look? What's wrong with your YouTube? It sucks. Why? Because it sucks a lot of cock. Yeah, it does. I'm looking at it. It sucks all rainbows of cock. How does that work? Black cock, white cock, Are you titling cock. this stuff? Mm, no. You can't, you can't delegate it. That's the problem. You can't delegate it. You're trying to delegate it. I respect that, but you you, you can't delegate YouTube creation. You have to title and uh, you have to title the stuff yourself. You can you can delegate the thumbnails, but you have to title the stuff yourself for sure. But Every like most major like two million plus YouTubers I know, they always title themselves. Really? Mm hmm Ah. <sighs> yeah, your problem right now is your titles. Damn That's it. what I'm seeing, and to some extent your thumbnails too. Like we can work on both. I suck at life. I'm a no, failure. No, you just suck at YouTube. Everything else is great. <laughs> oh. Okay. I can suck dick really. Oh wait, right? TOS friendly. TOS friendly. TOS friendly. TOS friendly. I think that's fine to say. That's like a skill set, like horse archery or anything else. Like yeah. Really? If yeah, if you're if you say I'm good at sucking dick, that's just expressing you that you're good at a skill. I'm great at sucking dick! How did you get so good? I learned from you! <laughs> Very good! <laughs> True! Yeah. See, you don't even deny it! I learned from your mom. <laughs> that was a low, bro low blow, CEO Andy! Yeah, well, we, we, we give and take, right? Low blow! <laughs> well, I learned it from your dad! <laughs> Well, I learned it from his dad. What? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you learned it from your own grandfather? Mm -hmm. That's a weird, it's a weird world like Dragon Ball Z time travel. Oh yeah. my God. Is that why mm -hmm. you're a little, is, is that why you have? I'm my own grandpa. Yes. That's why I'm so old. Wait, what happened to your childhood? Oh, it just like disappeared in, in, in the, the time verse. I've never been a child. That's why you've never seen me on Twitch as a kid. Is that why you look like a man child now? I look like a very sophisticated executive. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry, sorry. I meant, I meant, I meant a very sophisticated executive. Yeah. What if Mika wore a business suit? That'd be cool. Would you ever wear a business suit? I have never worn a suit in my life. Can you believe that? Wait, no way. Even, even when we sold our company. Yeah, no. How are no you way. not? How, how, what? How can you get away with that? Um, I just don't give a shit. I had a... I, so I had this like 1998 like old car, okay. And um, when we were selling the company to Madison Square Garden, the bunch of New York executives came over, like and like they're all like big suits and like important and everything. 
And I just like stuff them in the back of this like 1998 like like shitty car. The door doesn't work. Like the upholstery is falling off. And like we're just like we're I just driving them around like chatting and shit, going to restaurants and stuff. Like these guys are used to like driving in like Uber Blacks like down the street and shit. Like <laughs> I just don't, I've never cared about like the appearance stuff. I, I generally just wear the same type of clothes like because I'm just like really focused on like, objectives or ambition or things like that. Would you let technician dress you up? Um, say that yes, depends say yes. on how say far yes. that. Well, they're not gonna commit. I don't know how 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 you're crazy. You're a crazy person. No, hey, you, you, you me. Could, what if you dress me in what if you dress what if you dress me in lingerie? Crossless panties. Exactly. You, this is why I fear you. Is that why you wait? Would you want that? Uh, it's not my thing. I well, usually it goes on the other person. Would you let me dress technician? Wait, is this a <laughs> wink? Tray? Is this a wink wink thing? What is a wink wink thing? Like like it's like a like you say one thing but you mean the other type of scenario where you're like yes Miko I would definitely love to be dressed in crossless panties. I have heard that executives like to be dominated. There's there's a there's a going theory on that 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 because they spend their entire day like giving decisions and stuff they just want like a dominatrix girl to, okay like, just so take you okay okay, okay so you want a dominatrix girl i do not i like the i i, I like the inverse of that i but, like, had i just interviewed a girl a who dominatrix kinda, girl yeah kind of fits your description so this wait, is good wait, tell me more yeah, yeah yeah this is good i can introduce you to i'm good uh, on that one but I, I it's interesting that the matchmaker principle what was so you you interviewed like a dominatrix girl kind of yeah she she definitely is more on the dom side does she like um what does she do uh traditionally uh um, what do you mean whips chains um tassels bunny ears um Jeff Bezos, uh, stuff like that. She's actually she very. Jeff Bezos yeah, is on that list. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. She's very um, vers she's very experienced with CEOs. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, there are different. That's a different type of CEO. CEO. I don't think I can. I'm not Jeff Bezos. Oh. Uh... I did recently accept the position of CEO at Amazon, though. If you read that article. Wait, seriously? Yeah, CEO Andy. Can I have some gift subs? Um. Well, we don't even know what Twitch is at Amazon for the most part. Because it's like less than zero zero one percent of our business. Can I have some money? <laughs> Definitely, we got lots of that. Really? Hell yeah. Stock price is soaring. Can you Absolutely. How much you want? I want one million dollars. What would you do with a million dollars? Spend it. On what? It's not an easy not an easy uh, question. How would you spend a million dollars? Ooh. Short circuit. Oh, my lawyer. For, wh why are you getting sued? No. It's just my lawyer is expensive. Lawyers are expensive. Stop calling him. What? <laughs> Stop calling him. If but you call he, him, he charges you. But he, he listens to my, my advice. He listens to my, all my mental issues. Yeah, at five hundred dollars an hour. If you get a therapist, you cut your you cut the cost by one fifth. <gasps> really? And they'll listen to all your issues. Yeah, and if you get a friend that is willing to hear that stuff, you can do it for free. Friends are hard. That's why I pay my lawyer. Why are friends hard? Because they think I'm loud. Well, they're right, but, but some people like loud friends. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Do you like <laughs> do you like me loud and friends? Are I like you just the way you are. I wouldn't change anything. Really? Yeah. I think Ow. you're really cool. I always thought that. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, really. Mr. Devin, I like I you too. Had great appreciation for you. Really? Yeah, it takes a lot to do what you do. It's a, it's a very difficult. I mean, I, I respect, I respect everything about it. Then why didn't you host me when I was a hundred viewer Andy? I don't host anybody. Um, mm. I, the, uh, the hosting and rating is uh, one of the easiest ways to kill your channel. Wait, what? 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 Very few people understand this. So, so think about it. Why would you send your competitors to anybody else? 
Oh, come on. Or send your pure sandy to a competitor. Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, so there was a controlled study that was done over um, rating and hosting channels and found that um, it decreases growth by um, at anywhere between 15 to 30%. And, what? Um, and it decreases your total chatting average as well, like your unique chatters decreases this too. Because if, if you think about it, okay, let's say like I have a restaurant, right? And I'm like selling hamburgers and I tell everybody, yo, go over there and go eat those hamburgers. Um, and then like everybody goes over there. Well, they find out they like those hamburgers better. They go to that restaurant, right? So, so hosting and rating typically doesn't grow channels. Um, there are some exceptions to this where it's like, if you are a very, very large channel and you host and rate a very small channel, uh, that won't hurt you much. It'll benefit them. So if like that, sometimes like a lot of bigger streamers these days will host like smaller broadcasters, which I think is great because that'll help with their discovery. But generally speaking, yeah, if you, if you host within the same range, it'll hurt you for sure. Now that's that's not a reason not to do it because you can still be successful. But I I don't I don't do it based on you know I, I've got to practice what I preach because a lot of people watch me for growth stuff and stuff like that. What do you think of that? We zoned her out. That was it? Was too much information. I like hamburgers. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted you to take away from Did, that. Do that you good. like hamburgers? Mm -hmm. Um, I used to, but then I totally changed my diet so I could get ripped, and ah. I am completely unable to enjoy anything anymore. Have you tried this thing called candy? I I had in the past, yes. So I so I did. Nowadays, Miko, I eat like chicken, salmon, like vegetables very specific macros every day. I'm like super, super religious about it. Never, ever change it. Is your poo poo better? My poop is fucking amazing. Let me tell oh. you, it's incredible. Oh my God, I poop better than I've ever pooped in my life. What Completely. about the farts? I don't fart, don't <gasps> need to. Ooh. I'm just, it's just controlled. Oh. I got the fiber going. Controlled yeah. butthole. Yes. Wow. Disciplined butthole, yes. It's unfortunate that you are not gay. I'm not. <laughs> what would that? What would that involve? Uh, I mean, if you, it seems like you have a mighty butthole that you have full control over. It is, it is unfortunate that you are not gay. Well, it's fortunate, right? Because For you, then, might be the one true gay. The one true gay. Mm hmm. No, I think that's um. <laughs> I think didn't you interview um, Van Sama? <laughs> Who? Who? Van Sama. Who's that? Oh, you haven't interviewed him yet? You should. He's freaking hilarious. Wait, who? Wait, say that his name again? Van Sama. Van, Van Sama? Yeah, you haven't heard of him? He's amazing. He streams on Twitch. Is he the one? He's the one true gay, yes. Oh! I don't deserve that title. Okay, okay, okay. I would mm -hmm. love to. I would love to interview him. Giving you content ideas. Yes, yes. please. I need help yeah. with content. I have none. He is the one that brings balance to the gay. Wow. Mm -hmm. He's extremely powerful. Can he turn anyone gay? I suspect that is one of his powers. Yes. Asmongold. I will take my brother Asmongold to see the one true gay, so that he may, at last, form his true dream. What's to... up with Asmongold? You talked to Asmongold, right? Yes, he wants to play Smash Brothers and then smash your bros afterwards. How was the talk with Asmongold? What happened? Asmongold is awesome. I love him. I think he's... I think that he might need a little bit of help. Are you looking at your phone? I was, yes. Devin? <laughs> Devin? Okay. Yes. Should I, you okay, look sorry. at your phone when you're talking to a virtual character? Oh my god, I'm being I'm being judged by a Naughty. virtual character for going through my meetings right now. Okay. Naughty. <laughs> this is what's happening right now. This C -O -N -D. The, I'm being, Put I, okay. your meetings away. What if I had Okay, this is like having a virtual girlfriend right now. Put your meetings to the side. You okay, what if it's Amazon messaging? It's literally Amazon messaging me. Should I respond? I didn't respond. Ask how much. How much? <laughs> I, uh, it's offering them for a deal, okay? Ask them how much. 
How much what? How much money? A what? Okay, well then take it. I did. I pressed the button. All right, we're good. We're done. I'm here. I'm fully in tune. I'm in the so, vibe right now. So, because you're on my stream mm -hmm. and I'm your agent, can I get 25%? 25%? Who's charging you 25? It's 20%. Anyone charging you above 20%? Uh, 20%. Anybody out there to Twitch stream? If you didn't charge over 20%, that's not good. 20% should be good. Is there something in your cup? There is. There's little tea leaves. Want to see? Ooh. Are they cute? Do you eat the tea leaves? Sometimes, yeah, you're not supposed yeah, to. Yeah, you I savage. You mm -hmm. Yes, I'm a barbarian. You barbarian. I love green tea. It's one of my favorite things. I know, you told me you pee like 20 times a day because you drink so much green tea and you're constantly and caffeinated. Mm -hmm. Wow. You must yeah, have a, a really of... clean urethra. I do, yes. Mm -hmm. Generally, all th all cylinders are firing. I think as you get older, you need to like I don't know like I want to feel younger than I did before. I definitely I definitely feel better than I did like ten years ago. It's kind of insane, and I can keep up with people that are that age. Mr. Devin, how many how much to get you to dance for us? There is no price. I can't be bought. Which is, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. What if I cry? I don't care. Uh -huh. That would be amusing to me. That's my I... fetish. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, well, fine. Would you ever dance for us? Um. Wait, can we look this up on YouTube? Uh oh. Oh! <gasps> it's on YouTube, isn't it? I gotta go. No, no, don't right. leave! Don't leave! Don't that leave! That was a good interview. No, no, no! Don't Ooh. leave! No, stay, stay! Oh, God! Stay. Look at all these meetings I gotta Wait, do! No. Wow! Hey, put those meetings really? down! Put them right. down! Sit. Really busy right Sit. now. Got a lot no. of stuff going on. No, oh. bad oh, okay. CEO, bad. Oh, okay. Sit All back right. down. Put those meetings away. Okay. Are they really on YouTube? I don't know. No, definitely not. Oh. Don't search for them. I <laughs> okay, I won't. I won't, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Good. All right. Mm. Next subject. Oh wait, why are you embarrassed? About what? But you're dancing. Cause it's like, dude, I got a, I got a, a you know, I got stuff going on. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got it. Got it. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. What yeah. would you rather see? Crossless panties clip. Mm -hmm. Or dancing clip. If dancing you... 100%. Get that underwear shit out of here. Okay. <laughs> wait, seriously? That was the most embarrassed I've ever been in any kind of talk. Oh, wait, sure. really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was such good content. You turned oh my literally God. cherry red. Okay, it's like, what am I supposed to do? Like, okay, like, like, I'm supposed to be professional. A pretty Asian girl is like showing me and just talking about this stuff, right? And I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm like trying to help with like the brand stuff. I'm trying to stay on target here, and you know, I'm like, I, I just had a, t I, I'm, I had a bit of an emotional. Cross uh, panties make you emotional. <laughs> the way that it was like, it was like a. Uh, what do you want me to? Do? Oh my god, I'm so on the spot right <laughs> okay, now. Oh okay, my god. Okay, okay. okay we're gonna mm. move on. We, it, it, it's like, it's like, no, I can do it. No, I, I can, I can lean into the discomfort. I'm like, I'm totally okay with that. Listen, like, listen, um, listen. Next time I'll be crossless boxers. Is that a thing? Uh, yes. Really? Uh, are you interested? Uh, what? Uh, no, no. no really? No, you there look is no very interested. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm okay. definitely not interested. Okay. Okay. Mm. So business. Let's talk about business. What is the number one advice you have for Twitch streamers? Number one. Stop streaming. Okay. Number. Okay. Elaborate. Well, that's it. That's just number one. Uh, do you want? You want number two? I, I no. Elaborate. What do you mean? Stop streaming. The vast majority of Twitch streamers would be infinitely more successful on YouTube and on platforms where they have more evergreen content and they can diversify to things like Patreon or um, that take way less percentage. Like Patreon, for example, takes 8% of your total profit versus... Do you have a Patreon? Yes, but it... I'm looking at your Patreon. No, 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 there's nothing on it yet. What? Hold on, she's working on it, okay? What, what have I... What is this? Oh, uh... uh... I... 
get me the technician. Okay. I, I, oh, this is not okay. Okay. Have we not? Have uh, we not talked about? We had this long talk. Did I, I tell know. you about Patreon? Oh, you did. I'm gonna be messaging you uh, a lot. I'm gonna be. Oh no, you gotta feel bad about this. This uh, is this. Uh, there's so you are like the Patreon streamer, uh, right? Like like you can benefit. You can double your income in a month. Really? Yes, a hundred percent. Easy. Easy. Yes. Like this is like a two hour talk for us, and then you could double your income. No problem. One hundred percent. I and like they take money. 8%. Yeah, if you like money, then this is the conversation you want to have. I, like, this is 100%. The, um, there is so many things that you can incorporate with your type of stream into a Patreon-type model. And versus, like, um, yeah, it's the, it's the greatest incentives you have. It would be insane. It would be absolutely insane. I'm just, like, thinking through it. I'm thinking too fast. Oh, my Do God. you think that I should stream less? How, how often? Let me look at your hours. Um, uh, well, I mean, you can't look at my hours right now. I've been banned for two weeks. Uh, I just look at a distribution. Of course, you can. Or just take it out. Um, well, why don't you tell me, like, how much do you stream per day? I mean, I'm trying to increase it, but now I feel like Ooh. I sh Okay, yeah. Um, Let's I talk about that. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm thinking of Nervous streaming life. five days a week. And, Versus? Uh... I mean, I used to stream almost every day. Okay. You don't have merch? <sighs> what? What is this? I'm, All right. I'm getting to it. Okay. What do you mean? Uh, I, well, I... I, okay. So, like, there was that period of time that we stopped talking for a bit. Yeah. I missed you, by the way. I... But I thought you had your shit covered. We gotta do some. We gotta have some conversations, okay? This is this is not no merch, no Patreon. What's going on? Okay, All right? I just. Are you okay? Are you okay? <sighs> show, show me on the doll where Twitch doll. banned you. Yeah. Something's going wrong here in your life. To not. I, I, this is this. I know you have. You are the girl with infinite ambition. I know you to be. Okay. I just. We gotta been deving a lot you've been coding um a lot of administrative stuff a lot of lawyer stuff a lot of just deving and not working on youtube i guess so if you no no not youtube this is like a okay you could have all of your deving goals attached to patreon outcomes and you could be making money for all of the things that you create in real time. Really? At an eight percent split. Yep. So if like, like you say, okay, for this amount or this this amount of support, I can build this. Right now, you're working for free offline. If that makes any sense. Well, you should you can get paid for that. Oh man. Chat's gonna probably every time that I, I have these conversations, like chat's like, what? the business don't sell out. Like, ah, uh, he's evil. That's true. I'm not. Uh, th I am. But um, I'm also like making people really wealthy. And Mika likes money, so this is like a great relationship here. I There's need money to do. pay for my team. So yes. Uh, yeah. I well, that's that's ultimately ultimately the outcome here, right? Is that you can pay for a team. You can pay for better resources. You can pay for things that actually get that will increase their experience of the stream so it's it's very positive and you can buy teslas to be honest and this is sincerely from my heart i actually really don't need much for myself i just I yeah like all i want to do is make my stream bigger and better and just create my miku verse you know and that yeah i think and thirty six thousand dollars a year for DoorDash because I I like delivery food. <laughs> okay, I know a dude that spends sixty on that. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. he spends sixty k on Uber Eats. What? Yeah, he's, it's uh, he, he's he's an interesting guy. Uh, look, you you create beautiful things. You need teams to help you create beautiful things. I think that it's not unreasonable to try to um to monetize your debbing a little bit better. We can talk about that. Am um, I doing a bad job? Uh, no, you're doing a great job. You're literally one of the 
you are, or maybe you are. You're the only person of your class in, in this category. You've done something that nobody else can do. You should really feel good about that. Like, like you've you've made a community centered on positivity and uniqueness and innovation that nobody else has done on Twitch ever in the history of the platform or any live streaming platform. Oh wow, that's a that's a lot. Yeah, what you've done is truly unique and incredible in every sense of the word. Mr. CEO Andy? Yeah? I'll buy you a hooker. Joking, it's TOS joking. Um, that's a joke. Fuck, I can't is make that, those jokes. Ugh. Is that terms of service too? I think it's fine. Really? Yeah, probably. It's, if, it's as long as it's, it's legal where I am. <laughs> that, I, <laughs> that was a think, joke though. Oh I my think god. It's okay, okay. okay. Mm. Uh, also, I'm good. I don't. Um, wait, is it. Are they gonna be Asian? Okay, here we go. <laughs> and you say you don't have a fetish. I'm just playing it. I'm playing into it. So you said you're going to stream five days a week versus... So, so okay. You feel like you should stream more, but I actually... Like I should stream yeah, but... four days a week now. Because I want to really grow... I want to make YouTube-specific content, you know? Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. And, like, um... the other thing is, is that, like, I just... I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. You're right. My Patreon should be all ready to go. My YouTube should be all doing great. But I just, I don't know. I feel like nothing is going well for me for, I don't know. I think, have you heard of 8020? Uh, no. The, 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 the thought process. Okay. Can I show you something? Yeah. Okay. So every other week, uh, I do an exercise where I ask myself, you can pull this up for chat um, if you want later. Uh, I ask myself a couple of targeted questions, okay? Okay. And those questions kind of help me dictate like where I should go in my life. So I'll give you an example of one of the questions. It's like, um, what are 20% of the activities that are taking 80% of my time? Or what are 20% of the activities that are producing 80% of my results? Okay, and what you'll find is that you're probably spending a lot of time on things that um, are not actually moving you forward and maybe just give you the feeling that you are moving forward. And so if you ask yourself these targeted questions, um, I think it'll help a lot. And I just sent you my template. Wait, are are, you this took me so do you years think years years. making yeah. a jacuzzi stream for Valentine's Day is a waste of time? Oh, absolutely not. You're going to farm a shit ton of money doing that. Oh, never but, mind. You might, but you might as well have that on the back end be funded by patreon too like if we get this amount of things happening i will do a jacuzzi stream and then you get double paid by the jacuzzi stream and the patreon at the same time oh yeah i was gonna do it for valentine's day but should i not you, i mean it's, it's it's probably too late now and you should just go for it especially since okay. you've already put coding hours into it yeah why not and it will be an, it'll be like a hype stream like i remember you did that club dancing stream yeah which i thought was like really innovative and pretty cool you saw it of course i watch your stuff you do yeah i, I care about what you're doing i, I watch your stuff a lot. you care about me i care about anyone who is doing something truly unique and special on twitch and you qualify for that yes i'm special you are. You're very special. Did you know that... I've always liked you. And it's not because I'm Asian? <sighs> I mean, it's a bonus. But no, I oh. think that it's because you're very innovative and unique. And you have a very unique personality. Oh! <laughs> Mr. CEO Andy, I think you're also very unique with unique personality. Thank you. Appreciate that. I think you yeah, kind of have to have a unique personality to be on Twitch at some level. True. Why did you choose a space background? Um, that's a good question because I like a game called Eve Online. What's that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Eve Online is a is a is a game. It's like a second. It's like a second. Uh, world where you're in and you're in space and you are like a pilot that like fly ships and you fight in these virtual wars that cost real money and sometimes the wars like can equal like the current war that we're in right now it's like 160,000 players and it has cost so far i think close to a million dollars um in terms of like lost assets and stuff like that everything in the game is produced by players and uh is removed from the game if it's destroyed 
it's it's a really really crazy universe for people that are super um like poop suckers people suck poop poop sucking means like you play a game so hard that you poop in a sock instead of getting out oh yeah this is those types of people oh mm -hmm. i see yeah Mr. Devin Nash, what is your number one advice for growing on Twitch? Don't stream. <laughs> we're, oh. we're back. Again? Yeah. But how can you... It still doesn't make any sense. How do you Why not? grow on Twitch without streaming? Um, how does Austin do it? For example, right? I don't know. Or, or, any, or any... like Austin streams nine hours a week, right? But, but he gets 130,000 viewers. Why? Right? You ever th you think about that? Like, there's uh, Tommy in it, right? There's a lot of people that, that stream very, very little hours. Lots of um, uh, Spanish streamers stream very little hours. Um, if you look at, like, Aron Plays or Ebuy or any of those guys, right? Like, why do they succeed? Um, the answer is because they are using other platforms to drive viewership to their live content. And they use their live content only as a vehicle to drive recorded content. Right. Does that make sense? So, so it's a, it's a fundamental change in the way that you look at like like the problem with live streaming is that people look at live streaming as a means of an end to itself, but it's not. It's it's like live streaming is a platform that you could use to then turn those moments into recorded or like meaningful moments somewhere else. And the more th and so like most people that are streaming, they're focusing seventy percent of their time on streaming and thirty percent of their time. I mean, if we're lucky, most of like five percent of their time on like um, creating evergreen offline verticals, but they should be spending. 80% of their time on offline verticals and 20% of their time live streaming. This is how Ludwig grew, right? But Ludwig streams every day. Ludwig, how did, how did Ludwig get big? YouTube. That's right, yeah. So, 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 so Ludwig, Ludwig decided to start streaming more hours be pretty much because I'm convinced that a lot of YouTubers decide to stream more hours because they're so bored because they're already so successful. Like Moist Critical, basically. I, I, I am I, who you interviewed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic dude. Amazing dude. He's been on YouTube for 11 years. He streams more because he just sort of enjoys that live community aspect of it. And now he also uses that to drive content back to his YouTube. Um, but he's not streaming because he needs to. He's streaming because he has time to. Because YouTube is such a, a smaller time commitment. Unless you're doing like epic level content, like like Mr. Beast or something, uh, YouTube is such a smart time commitment than than Twitch is over time. Most of these people can just afford to do more. Um, Ludwig heard... used to stream like four hours a day. I heard that sponsorships look at the number of hours I used to on Twitch. Is that not true? No, it's totally not true. Uh, they look at hours watched. I think is what. So so hours watched is just how many accumulated viewer minutes translated into hours that people are watching so so the hours watched will go up with concurrent viewership if you have higher amount of concurrent viewers even if you stream less hours you can beat out people uh, a good example this is like critical role for example where like it's like the most popular D, &D show uh, um they beat out many many different channels have thirty thousand subs they stream four hours on thursday that's it oh so it's like an entirely different way to think about things oh my god Oh my god. What do you think? I've been doing everything wrong. Mm hmm. Your entire life is a lie. Oh my god, what the hell? It's like the true Zen. The, the best way to succeed is not no effort, right? I. Do you know how many hours a day I work? Oh, I'm, probably a lot. I'm. I bet you work I'm. Like all I'm, the time. I'm, I'm using all my hours the wrong way yeah uh and, and so how do we so how do we fix that so, so the way that you fix that is you ask yourself targeted questions so did you get see the questions i sent you Which, on discord well I, I i'm not looking at the discord chat right now how do i send you these just 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 send it to my discord chat but right now i'm not looking at them because i'm streaming roger that okay so so what i sent you though is some targeted like the way that you orients your mind to figure out how to ask yourself questions that get you on track to target things. You have to ask power questions, right? So a good example I use of this is like, let's say that like, if you want to lose weight and someone says like, okay, um, why am I so fat? That's a Chocolate. really bad question. <laughs> that's okay. a bad question, right? Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, that's that a good answer. Yeah, maybe Pizza. you said you stop eating chocolate, but like a, a, a stronger question is how do I lose weight? 
And then you could say, okay, well, maybe I need to do some exercise. Maybe I need to stop eating this. Or, and then you say, okay, how could I lose 10 pounds in 60 days? Stop. Days, right? Not You're eat. getting more quality answers, right? So, like, so like, if you ask yourself a question like, how would I um, – well, it depends on your objectives, but it's like, how would I double my income right now, right? How would I double my income? And then, and then you ask yourself that question, what, what would you have to do, right? There's probably several different answers you put on a list and figure out what one is most effective, right? I would say right now, like, the vehicle for that is Patreon. Seems like to me your problem you're having right now is funding because you want to build a team. You want to uh, get more people involved. You want to like uh, start doing some really cool shit and kind of like actualizing your dream of like building this virtual world. You need a team, right? Yeah. So if you're gonna get a team, then um, and you want to increase your funding, it seems like the easiest vehicle to that is like Patreon. But I, there's a lot of options. I um I oh man 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 and merch. Should I buy stocks? I... Should you buy stocks? Yes. Uh, everyone's an investor these days. Um, you should invest in the S&P 500 responsibly over multiple years of time while you focus on your own value, yes. But I should don't think I... you should. Should but... I get an OnlyFans? Dude, OnlyFans is insane. I don't see why not. But isn't Miko. that going to hurt my brand? For, for Miko's brand? Yeah. I'm not saying Technician does it. I'm saying Miko does it. I know, I know. Wouldn't it break? Wouldn't it hurt Miko's brand? Define hurting your brand. Ah, uh, Miko is a wholesome brand. Is she really? Oh come on! You literally at the beginning of this interview, you literally described to me exactly how the vagina inverse works. So you, you're some, saying some Harry Potter shit, but, and, but and, and give me. That's different from OnlyFans. I think what's happening right now is you're lying to me. I think what? that's what's happening. Yeah. Are you I saying that Miko is a porno? Um, I'm saying that Miko is not a. F Would you consider yourself a family friendly channel? Mm, I mean, not family friendly. You said your greatest but... skill is sucking dick. Fa okay, look. Then you said you learned it from me. <laughs> okay, but like, look, there's a difference. What part of this is kid friendly? But there's a like... difference between kid friendly and then straight up porn, though. Why does OnlyFans have to be straight up porn? There's plenty of people that don't do dudes on OnlyFans. But isn't OnlyFans... I'm not, so, so, what's, actually, let's, let's classify that. I'm not actually saying at all that you should do uh, nude Miko. No. Okay. I don't think that's, I don't think that's the play. Okay. I think, like, Miko and, like, revealing lingerie or whatever is, like, a good play. What? What? Mm hmm No! Monetize those crotchless panties. No! Bam. Brought it no! in. No! Did it. No! Took a bit. But we found a way to monetize them. Oh. Let's go. No. We did it, boys. No, I don't want to do that. Why not? Because that's not what I want to do. Simply. Okay, so if you want to, okay, so if you want to build a innovative world that is, um, that is like includes all the the stuff that you have, and you want to do it in a totally non-sexual way, Patreon is your answer. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, then don't worry about it. OnlyFans takes 20%, Patreon takes 8%, 8-12% anyway, so it's better. better Jesus, split. why is Patreon so... Why are they such pussies? Um, they don't do much for you. They're just hosting a platform for you to kind of like... <laughs> I mean, yeah, the same argument can be done, can be made for other platforms. I don't know why Twitch takes 50% of everything, but that's a, that's a, I just made that video. Uh, ah. I made a video called Twitch is a Pimp. Yes. Because I, I took a I, I took a graph of all of the uh, platforms, and Twitch takes the highest percentage of any platform like, wait, for creators. Wait, seriously? Oh, easily. Yeah, of course. Twitch takes fifty percent of everything, thirty percent of bits. Nothing, nothing even comes close. OnlyFans twenty percent. Pornhub takes twenty percent. Um, what's our graph? What, what, where is it? Hmm. I think the only people that even come close is like maybe. Uh, YouTube. Um, but YouTube doesn't even like really get that close. Let me see. Yeah, many vids, Pornhub, and OnlyFans all twenty percent. Um, Facebook Gaming actually doesn't take anything. Um, if you set it up right, and uh, YouTube is uh quite a bit more. Yeah, Wait, Twitch by Twitch far is the lowest. Twitch pimps harder than Pornhub. Twitch pimps way harder than Pornhub. Twitch pimps 30% harder than Pornhub. Straight up. Huh. 
Okay. I mean, what they'll tell you is because they, I, I, I guess they're saying that like live encoding, right? Like, like uploading something to a server and distributing it via AWS um, is intensive. Is like, it? Uh, uh, yes. I mean, that's not that's not a false statement. Is it is it worth thirty percent of the total creator income? I don't know. But like, uh, like, I don't see how Twitch can do this and then still lose money. <laughs> that's, that's the real thing. It's well, like... I mean, they do a lot of like you know extra stuff. You know, like chat replies or um, you know, they do a lot of experimental dev stuff, right? So is that where the money goes? Are you saying they fail forward and they invest a ton of money in shit that doesn't make sense? And yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> I, like yeah, yeah. We love Twitch, Devin. Mm. Remember, Devin, we love Twitch. What? Why? The thing that's good about culturally about Twitch is like, um, if if you criticize them, at least from a business perspective, they're always very open to that. That's the one thing I, and probably the only thing I actually really appreciate about their CEO, Emmett Shear. Really? Um, it, yeah, culturally, he's very, very open to criticism and and, and always um, considers criticism on even like a, on, on, on like an even keel and I, i've always appreciated that about him literally everything else makes me think he should step down but that one thing is good wow problem Dang. is i don't know who would replace him i don't know who would be a better ceo at twitch that's, that's the real issue i could not run that company why not running in a hundred person company is very different from running a 2500 person company i would get absolutely fucking annihilated trying to run that company do, do you think you could run it yeah, just run it. Why what? Just run <laughs> it. Just, you, want, you want me to run it? Just run it. What are you just saying that over and over again? What does that mean? It means you just run it. It's not hard if you just run it. Oh, really? Yeah. I never thought about it that way. Yeah, exactly. You just do it. You're right. How do You're you right. know that you can't? Have you tried? I'm certain I can't. Oh, that's the attitude that'll make you not do it. The pro that's true, and I won't do it. No, the, the, the problem with um, running companies at that level is it's not a matter. Okay, running small companies, I like to run companies between like one and 100 employees. And the reason is because you can get things done very quickly. You can, you can like directly Im impact your team. The problem with running a company that's like 2,000 people is that there's all these like competing ideas in it. And so your job as an executive is not even to get shit done. It's literally just to, like, you're just a psychologist. You're just, like, literally dealing with people's problems, their barriers, like, whatever their team's problems are. You're just putting out fire. Even, like, at 100 people when I was running companies of, like, 100 plus people, that was, that, that was basically my day. So and CEO I, I, is a therapist. I, I, literally, yes. All you do is you put out fires and make people feel better. Like, um... Your, your job as an executive is two things. Number one, to make people feel better. And number two, to think about the number one problem your company has and communicate that to other people. Everything is politics at that level, especially if you're owned by a bigger company. Like, like as Twitch is a subsidiary, like you have to deal with Amazon. And so I'm trying to explain in some kind of proposal format that they want why I need to, you know, $150 million to do X, Y, Z. It's just, it's a lot of... It's a lot of nonsense. What? What? Okay, so then what problem do you think I have that I should fix? I'm sorry, we moved like 180 degrees over. What? <laughs> no, because you were saying that CEOs, their number one thing is identify the problem and then, you know, become a therapist, right? Oh, so, so, so you as a CEO of your own business? Yeah. Uh huh. What is um, my number one problem? Time management. Time management. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yes. How do I fix it? Talk to somebody who's really good at it. Devin, how do I fix it? Uh, take a look at the questions that I sent to you and answer them on a bi who basis. And then use that to formulate a list of ways that you can better impact your brand. Devin, can you answer these questions? What questions do you want me to answer? The one that you sent me. You want me to answer them? Yeah, because it's hard to answer questions. You, you can only answer test. them for yourself because oh. I'm not in your life 24-7. Why not? You want me to be in your life 24-7? Aren't you my friend? Do all your friends... Okay, being in your life 24-7 is like a relationship. That's like a... That's like... <gasps> friends don't spend 24-7. Do you want to be my people. slave? Um, hmm, let me think about that for a second. 
do I get a benefits package? Yes. Tell me the benefits package. You get health benefits. That's good. What which else? Which includes band-aids and aspirin. Mm-hmm. Um, you... Which I'll need because I'm listening to you all day. Yes. Uh-huh. A lot. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. Um, you, go yeah. <laughs> you You get... <laughs> You get a square footage of my room that you can sleep uh -huh. on. How, how, how much square footage? Um, two feet by two feet. That's not that much. That's, it's, it's, um, it's a, it, uh, she'll give so you I her a, socks. I get a dog, she'll give, who, who? She'll give you her socks. Wait, are we negotiating for Miko or a technician now? Technician. Oh, okay. This, this, the, not that the stakes are up. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I'm good at negotiation. And, and then, mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, you get one bathroom break. Per day? Yeah. So, you want me to abandon my life as a successful executive yeah. and become the slave of a programming streamer on Twitch? Yeah! I'll have my people get back to your people. And we'll consider your proposal. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, this is the closest you've been to a woman for a long time. Jesus Christ, can you chill? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is it? What is the matter with you? <laughs> okay. It's Valentine's All right. why, why are you coming praying up. on my why are you praying on my uh, inability to find women? Listen, Valentine's Day is coming up. Okay, I'm just getting Not you for prepared. Me. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's coming and going for me, okay? <laughs> oh, same with all of the people in chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm basically like, see, chat, you feel like you can't relate to me, but we actually vibe way harder than you might think. You I'm know, a Cheeto dusted a goblin, dude. You know, you know, you don't miss a definite You're not that bad. You think so? Yeah, you can, mm. you can dance, you make money, and you, <laughs> you have knowledge. You've got brain. Is that what girls want, Brain? Uh, what do you think girls want, Miko? Dick? Definitely not. That's that's like I think that's like pretty low on the totem pole. That's true, to be honest. Yeah, yeah it yeah. is. It mm -hmm. is. Um, Dick is super accessible. Yeah. A nice guy. Do you think that's true? I actually, I actually think that's true. It is I think true. That, yeah, it is true. I think that 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 like. Girls, this is something that's like really important. I'm glad you brought this up. I think girls at the core want kindness. And there's this big fucking meme that like you have to treat girls like assholes to fucking get ahead and fuck them. I don't think that's true. I think girls at their core want a kind person. True. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. We do. We want a guy who actually considers our feelers. Yeah. And listens and is empathetic. Yeah. And empathetic. Takes time to actually really understand you and like respond to you in a way that um and, and also i think another big thing is respect I, th yes. I think i think um women don't get enough respect <gasps> especially professional women <gasps> this is something i talk about a lot bothers me bothers me bothers me also on twitch and youtube one of our biggest problems as a platform it might be the biggest problem we have as a platform is is the the inability to include women um on because only 14 percent of streamers are women ladies a, ladies in the chat Mr. CEO Andy is indeed single. He is single. He is very, very, very single. And he will treat you right. Oh, I thought she was just reminding people this over and over again. No, 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 no. I'm trying to get, I'm, I'm, I'm advertising you. Miss. This has become, this is now okay, Cupid. I'm very, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you laid, Mr. CEO Andy. I don't wanna get laid. All I want is true love. We're gonna get, get you true love, I promise. Mm. There, there has to be one single lady in my chat. I think there's someone out there, for sure. Mr. CEO Andy, did you enjoy this interview? Is it over? Why do you seem so happy about this? <laughs> Mr. I can keep going. I can go for four hours. How how long? What's your longest interview? It was for two hours. This has been two hours. No 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 no. My longest interview was around two to three. I think actually it was a four hour interview with Miskip. I don't remember. 
you did four hours of Mizka? I think so. But Is that because both of you are so ADHD that you just kept okay. talking about different subjects and like did, couldn't stop? Okay. <laughs> oh my God, that's why. <laughs> I'm not gonna beat four hours. I actually have to go. <laughs> okay. No, here's the, I have a reason why. You don't have to. Yeah, okay. Because I really, really want to fix my Patreon and YouTube. Hell yeah. I am. I oh, am, you're motivated. Yes. My my freaking ass is on fire, and I just want to fix everything right now. I love if I could have if I could be a small catalyst for you, in that uh, in that I I love that I could be a part of that movement for you because you know what I I want. I also you, really I need to pee. You. Okay. But yes, keep going. I just want to see you with more ambition. I want to see you achieve all your dreams. Oh, Mr. CEO Andy, you make. And I think that you can. Oh, you make my brain wrinkle. You cause them to wrinkle. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. Yes, that is my primary objective. <laughs> oh my God! So, CEO Andy. Yeah. Is it okay to stream four hours in a day? Oh, completely. Yeah, especially if you're augmenting that through um, different, different like, growth protocols. Yeah, of course. Like, I mean, like, four hours a day is more than enough time to optimize for YouTube content. For And there's so many different ways to syndicate it, too, now. Like, um, man, there's, like, there's like TikTok. There's, like, there's so many things to do. Yeah, we could talk for hours now. But maybe we should have a follow-up brand meeting. Like, Please. See where, so we've, we've looked at... Uh, where your brand was, we can look at it where it is now. This is like totally different, and like the key points of like improvement things. Like yes, that. I would mm -hmm. love that. That'd be really neat. Okay. Uh, as long as the uh, are you gonna? Uh, can you hide the underwear this time? Yes, I won't show the underwear. Okay, that'd be good. There's yeah. now underboob bras now. What is? What do you mean? The, the bras was like they're like crotchless panties, but for bras. Jesus. Oh, there's you... there's backless panties too now. What do you mean now? Like we just invented them as like no, a society? No, no, no. Now she's got a bunch in her collection. You're still, or she's still ordering them? Yes. How many, how much underwear does this girl have? Like a lot. Why though? Cause she just likes collecting them. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's so a hobby. now I have to, I have to look at all that stuff next? Nah, she won't bring it out. All right. That's, are you sure? Mm-hmm. Is this a trap? No. That is a trap. No, it's not. Okay, well, Dude. I'm coming with the data. Okay. I'm coming with the business stuff, all right? Uh, I'm, I'm, we're, we're doing serious, professional, round two brand development. I can't wait. Uh, Patreon stuff, if you, think of, if you think about only that, will be very beneficial. Um, we probably could, have, we could probably start off with that talk um, because, like, that's, like, building tiers, building things. I build a lot of Patreons. We can run through that. I trust you. I trust you too. All right, Mr. CEO Andy, I really have to pee. So I have to say goodbye. This was amazing. I would like to do this again if you're down. It was anytime. fun talking to you, Mr. Sir. It was fun talking to you too, Miko. And uh, yes, anytime. I'm very proud of you. You're doing fucking fantastic. Ooh. You're awesome. You're changing the Twitch world day to day. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, Mr. CEO. Goodbye. And thank you, chat, for having me. Goodbye. Bye.